Okay, here we have a 1995 Holden Rodeo with a 2.6 in it. The, uh, the hand brake's not working anymore because uh, this side cable is, uh, is broken. You can see here the cable is, uh, has slack in it. Uh, that's the drum brake there and the wheels off it. The, uh, the front wheel's chopped. The, uh, it's got a support, uh, pine blocks. And this was hard to get off, but I've just got a crowbar in the front of it there. And it looks like that's just about to come off. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. That's uh... okay. We've got uh, 25, 27 years of uh, uh, brake lining dust in here, so we're going to uh, use a bit of water just to clean it up so we don't breathe any in. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, the backing plate there, um, the wheel cylinder that's there, and this this rubber boot was popped off. I don't know. That could be a sign of a, a leaking uh, cylinder. I don't know. Um, the adjuster is down here. You can see that round piece of uh, metal there. With the tab like the uh, the tabs on it looks like a a gear wheel that's for adjusting the width so you have to adjust that in to get a narrower margin from there to there so the um, where is it so that the uh, the hub will go back on um, let's see now so this bit here this cam going down there with an arm, it's got an arm going in that goes under that uh, that wheel there, so that goes down there and in that arm there goes against the, uh, the wheel and it rotates it and tightens up the uh, the, uh, the the drum it tightens the uh, shoes onto the drum. Um, these are the tabs here, you push them in and around to unlock them and, and remove the, uh, the shoe. And so we've got uh, three springs, we've got the top one which is uh, uh, like a smaller diameter, we've got a larger one down here if we can pick up on it, here at the bottom. So that's there and there and behind here, I'll just get a torch, we can see another spring behind there. I think that that spring there at the back, the smallest one, is a temporary spring to hold it all together while you assemble it. So that's pretty much it. That's this, these spread out when you put your foot on the brake. That makes the shoes spread out and stop. Um, these two pins here. Um, keep the shoes in place. We've got an adjuster arm going from there to there and that's got that cog in there. There's a cog in there and um, there we can see there's an arm going down there and across to the inside that turns that sprocket looking thing and tightens the uh, shoes up to the required um, tension. Um, yeah, so that's pretty well it. And then we've got a spring down here. 
that spring there and the shoes on the bottom rest on this retainer here okay so I'm just going to pan around a little bit okay so it's a bit complex I've, I've marked my uh, shoes uh, front and rear and I've color coded the fronts uh, I've actually color coded them white okay that's the the front of that spring the front of that uh, adjuster arm the front of the spring and I've got top written there but uh, by by size it's that's the middle size spring the at the bottom here is the um, largest size spring you can see both of them there and there's a spring in behind there as I say I think that's a temporary spring and these spread out and push the uh, the shoe out so I get a macro shot now okay so I'll, um, I'll start the work and then you've got your cable running along there's a number of holding points one there one there um, underneath now uh, yeah right in front of me uh, one there and then you've got your uh, the end of the the holder bracket there for the uh, for the cable. Okay, I'm now able to uh, turn this cog. I'm going to have to make this shorter to, uh, to get this spring out here. So I am actually able to uh, turn that now. Okay, with the larger spring on top removed, we can see that the small spring here behind uh, doesn't seem to be showing up for some reason. Okay, so that that spring there behind, it, uh, it slots into the holes here and here. Okay, so that one and that one. I think it's best best to remove the springs. Um, this is on the uh, the right side of the car. Remove the springs from the back. So um, here we've got the spring behind, and we might be able to see there that we've got from it runs from there to there. We can remove that there, and it seems to be easier to remove at the back here as well. Now this is flipped around and it may actually be on the forward side on the left side of the car to remove the springs. Now this spring on the bottom I remember I changed the uh, brake cable on the other side uh, it was quite some time ago it could have been five years ago um, but this was fairly difficult to get back in but here I can I can lever against this uh, this part of the uh, the wheel assembly here so so there we go it's out
Okay, now I'll attempt to, uh, well, first attempt to get the uh, small spring out from behind. Yeah, so that's that's done. That's pretty easy. So when reassembling that that small spring is the first one to go back in. That I'm pretty sure, as I say, that holds it all together temporarily. Um, you fish it through and hook it up in this hole, and you have to try and grab it at the back there and feed it in. Um, okay, the brake drums themselves, they are, um, they're a little bit worn. Mostly worn on the bottom there. There is uh, two or three mil at the bottom. There's a fair amount here, say three, three mil, but um, the forward uh, bit just here is is the weakest point. Okay, now for the uh, for the tabs. These tabs here just compress in. Um, you push them in, you turn them, and you can see there there's a notch uh, that will line up and uh, you can then remove it so I now have to remove both uh, spring um, both retainers here the um, the drum brake looks uh, complex but once you get your mind around it it's really just the uh, the three springs holding it all together these retainers will release the uh, the shoes, uh, and then you've got your spacer. That's really all all that it is. Reassembly. You put the bottom of the shoes in here. Um, you your retainers in, and the small spring with with this adjuster spacing adjuster in place, and then you can re reassemble. Okay, so there's the uh, the spring there. Now I should be able to fish that out, and that's the top spring. So that will go like that with that one. That's the cam adjustment cam. That's the retainer there. So we can see the retainer is made up of two of these. Okay, one flips over. The spring goes on that, and then the other one, which is the same, that sits in there, and you twist that and lock it in. So we've got our big spring here. Um, that's the uh, cable. Cable sits in this arm here. Okay, so that that was like that. And the top sat in in that notch there, like so. And the bottom sat on the retainer there. So here's our adjuster. Okay, we know what's the back of it and what's the front of it because we uh, we label that up uh, color coded it now it's just uh, removing this shoe here and we'll put our cable in Thank you. 
No, we have to uh, get this off there. There's our worn shoe. So that just really is essentially just pushing that out against the, the drum that makes it all work. Uh, so that's that's our cable there, that bit there. You um you get a little compressor or, or a, I'll show you in a sec and compress that in and then you can remove the cable. So that's that's the cable coming in there. Okay, we just compress that and remove it. So I'll just pan around now. That could probably do with a bit of a clean. I might try and clean that up a bit more. But then it's only... Probably going to make it maybe a little bit wetter. That's where the shoe sits in there. Okay. So that's that's how it works. That just gets pushed in there. Um, semi trailers have this uh, drum type of drum brake. Uh, motorbikes used to have them. Cars used to have them. Uh, cars still have them brand new on the back still. Because these are your parking brakes, you see. If you have, so far as I know, if you have um, uh, disc brakes for some reason, uh, I don't know about the newer ones, but they also had a drum brake, a smaller drum brake to hold the car. To remove the cable from the uh, the arm that's connected to the shoe, uh, you have to pull this spring back, and this tab has to come forward, and it'll come out. Uh, when this is connected, what I'll do is I just grab onto that you should be able to pull this forward and this back and it'll come off it's just really creating a gap between the spring and this uh, this grommet here okay I've given that a, uh, a clean up as we can see it's not too bad um, I think that maybe the cylinder is leaking on the right hand side there it does seem like a fairly or a newer uh, a newer one compared to the other side I mean um, could be leaking a bit but I don't know I never notice any uh, I never have to put any um, brake fluid in the container um, as I say this this was popped off um, but I think it uh, I think it passes okay what we have to do is put this uh, this bracket here around that and we have to tighten it up and that will compress the end here and we can get our uh, our cable out okay I have cleaned in here with brake uh, parts cleaner and 
just seemed to be a bit of a build up of uh, type of water or wasn't too good in there so I've cleaned that up we can see here that the, uh, the slider will move it seems to be fairly healthy although the piston there is uh, it is a little bit dirty so I uh, might try and clean that up a bit Okay, here we've got our compressor there. Just going to feed that on and uh, tighten it up, and that just against the frame there, though. And that should uh, release our cable. I brought the uh, tightener back a bit so we can bring the first bit through. happened there. Now that's our poor quality. Okay so uh, I used a higher quality maybe a smaller one and that's uh, that's released it. So we can now see sort of like Got a butterfly type mechanism there, you squeeze it together and of course all these pins would uh, come together and it would become, the diameter would become smaller and you would be able to get it out. Um, as we pan around here you can see it's made up of this butterfly wing there um, and there. So if there's two there then there's probably a third one and that's it. That's it there. So there's three of them. So theoretically you could find the three and push them down. Uh, the one at the back might be a bit difficult, but you might be able to get it out with a screwdriver. But, you know, a couple of these collapsed. That's one that collapsed. Um, but this one here was, uh, was okay. Okay, um, here that's where the uh, where it slots into the uh, the bracket, and I'll I'll get a measurement from there. This is the new one to to just here. So that's where it'll slot in behind there. There's the hole there. And that's uh, 1420. So just behind here, it's very hard to point out. But it's where this, this metal stops up in there. Um, Okay, that's fourteen twenty five. And now I'll get a, a cable length. Uh, this cable is longer, but this cable is broken. So I'll just put that on the end there. And we'll come down here. Just reset that on that. And we've got 1720 um, or 1715 to the end of the uh, the cable now we're measuring. So that that's what we've got. Looks like it's 20. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, cable.
that slides up there with the rubber boot through there and this is where the clip this is where the clip will go so that just goes through there and we'll put the clip in now okay we've got our clip and that should just slide up in there Two very interesting um, observations at this point. Um, the first one is this break in the old uh, handbrake line. And I don't know how that's happened. Um, I might... Uh So I'd say that's been broken for some time. Probably this cable has been rusted up and it hasn't moved and that's how I've been able to uh, get handbrakes with the other side. So uh, that's the first one. The second interesting thing is we had these, the, the old and the new brake cables side by side and we, we could see that they were the same length and yet I have this. Um, this, you know, it's uh, it, it won't really compress. So the length you've got is what you've got to work with, and it's very restricted. It goes from this point here, and uh, this won't that won't flex to this point here, and that's that's locked in also. And so it goes okay. It goes straight back, um, but when we get to here. We see that I can't really get this part of the cable to go back. See, there's the bracket there, and I can't, I can't really bring that back there. That's it's a very strong cable, and it won't go back here to meet this uh, that point there. However, having said that, it should be okay. It's a strong cable. Yes, it does go onto the fuel tank, but there is a protective rubber. Uh, um, cover over the cable there. Um, this is uh, this is like an OEM part. It's a uh, Holden Rodeo part, I think, from the factory. So it's surprising that it doesn't fit perfectly. As I said, I've done the other side.
Okay, at this point I've gone under the car and I've put a little bit of tension on the uh, on the handbrake. So the uh, the rear shoe is installed. That's sitting in the uh, the top there, and the bottom uh, the bottom holder. The uh, the clip is in place, and there's a little bit of tension on the uh, the rear brake, so we can go in and have a look and see here the uh, the spring goes on to the uh, the arm there at the back. It comes through. You can see an arm going through down there, and that spring connects there. Now for the uh, the right hand shoe, but I have to put this uh, this spacer in and get the uh, the spring on, which is not easy. Just like to point out here that this video is for entertainment purposes only. Um, if you're going to attempt this work, make sure you're capable. Um, you know, you put your life in your own hands, and uh, as well as the life of other people doing this work, you want to make sure that. It's all working perfectly before you go out on the road and have a test drive. Uh, this is the spacer here and I've adjusted it in here just a little bit so that it's a little bit shorter because that cam comes along and it, uh, it turns this, uh, this cog, this cog here and it tightens up the, uh, the shoes to the correct uh, width. Okay, so here's the spacer and we can see that you can put the spacer in place so that goes on the shoe and the arm behind it for the um, hand brakes. Um, that will sit there. Okay, it seems to sit on a small uh, stud just there. So it'll sit on top of that. Um, yeah, and it's just a matter of uh, you get your shoe, and that that uh, adjuster will sit in that part there. Um, it was easier the last time. I think it was sitting out a bit more, or it can yeah, it can sort of like levitate. If you like, it doesn't have to sit on that metal part. So it levitates there, and then you can come in with your shoe. And uh, so that's the adjuster there. Just have to situate that like that. Um, yeah, and then that the bottom of the shoe sits in that holder there. The tops in here, and. Um, you know, we can get a, a wedge and put it in there to hold it together while we uh, do the rest. So yeah, that works perfectly. I've just got a, looks like a 5mm wedge there at the bottom. So that holds it all central and it, it sits on that and that's, uh, that's all good. So at this point, just make sure that it is, uh, that the shoe's sitting in the, uh, the slot there, the, the bracket there, the spacer is in place that it's actually it's not not in place not wide enough yeah, it needs to be adjusted out a bit so I think that's um, let's see what what way would that be that's tightening clockwise so I'm just tightening it out so that should now start to come out yeah so that's now in that's now in place so that's now in place there I made it a bit longer so that won't come out anymore and that's in place there down there and we've got our wedge there okay our spacer and this is all sitting well um, yeah 
Okay, let's do a bit more work and get this uh, a bit more stable. So that goes through from the back. You have to hold the back of it um, with your finger at the back there. Then, uh, as I said, these are these are identical. One sits against it with this bit, this part proud, then the spring, and then this sits in with the round bit in and you have to push it in and turn it so that will go a little something like this so the pin comes through that goes on there you have to uh, turn this so that it goes through then you turn it back a little bit then the spring then the other part you have to Get that lined up. Get that horizontal there. Um, I wonder if I can do it with my fingers. Yeah. Yeah, that's done. So if I can find a torch or a light, then we see that that is uh, that is good. Okay, so we can make that perfect. Just dial that back a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Um, the next uh, the next move is to put the spring in, the small spring. Okay, installing the top two springs is where your um, photos are really going to come in handy. I actually had to go back and look at my video. <coughs> Or the earlier part of this video to get uh, to get this worked out so the spring behind goes from this this hole I haven't videoed this adjusting cam yet but this is the cam that moves and tightens up the, uh, the rotating part here for the spacer um, so that this has got a recess in it and that and it also slots in the spacer there so that's how that sits in there like that um, I might be able to show that as that part comes up there it rotates the cam there so we should see it rotate there we go so that's what that uh, cam does. The distance between there and there, that should be about uh, 10 millimeters. So the small spring, installing the small spring now, we're looking to get the, the rear of it in that back hole there. Um, that's not going to be easy. I think I did the other side with the uh, needle nose uh, pliers so going out down past that one okay there we go we can see I've got it just there and now the trick is to um, feed it into the uh, the front one here That'll clear all of that, and we've got that one there. Okay, now we're going to put on the top spring, or the middle middle size spring, or the um, the largest of the top springs. And again, we're going for the same hole. Okay, so the small spring, the tang comes out, and the big bigger spring, the tang goes in there. So that's that's that one, and now we need to go to the adjusting cam. So that needs to sit on the top, and in the adjusting arm, and that's it there. Okay, 
So you've got the long arms on the left hand side or toward the back of the um, car. You've got the springs lining up. The spring, both the rear and front springs are at the same point. Um, if I can find a torch, I might be able to show that a bit better. So we can now see the rear and front top springs, the long arms on this side, and the, uh, the front side, the tangs use the same hole. So that's the, uh, the bottom of the, of the inside tang down the bottom there, and that's the, the top spring. Okay, for the uh, largest spring, the bottom spring, we're using the top holes, okay? Uh, try and get them both. So the top holes, we've got a hole here. We're going to use that hole and this hole here, okay? So just try and find the spring. Um, yeah, I've color coded them. I've got the white on front and the yellow on the rear. So from memory I don't think that passes through there because of these so I have to try and fish that through right up to there now this is the hard part because we've got to get that from there to there and it's a fairly tough spring okay as I say I did this work about five years ago now I think the trick was to use these big pliers and grab grab the tang at the front there and yeah that's right that's how I did it I used this here This round bit, and I, I used that for leverage, and I pushed the handles back in, and the spring went in. So that that's now done. That uh, that bit of work. If I can just release these. Okay, I wasn't very happy with how the um, drum was uh, going on. It seemed a little bit tight. So what I did was I just got these pliers and I just removed the top spring. Um, the uh, This, call it a nut there, the adjusting nut. I turned that anti-clockwise about four times, just one, two, three, four. Just levering, it, levering on it like that. And uh, now we can see that it goes on perfectly. We've come this far. I think I can be generous enough to, uh, to show that in real time. So what I did was I just removed that spring and uh, we'll tighten it up now. Okay so that the drum won't go on so it's a bit tighter 
So if we adjust it a little bit more, it shouldn't go on at all. So now it's, it's too tight. I just didn't want to... I don't want to get my glove caught in there because some some rubber will be will be in there so now I'm just levering up against this one here two three four and uh, make sure my gloves doesn't don't get caught in there and there we go voila so now now it fits and we just get our spring. We can put that on there, just making sure that it sits in there. And uh, that should be good and sweet. And that the bottom of it rests underneath that. And that will uh, turn that nut, as we were calling it there. Here's the bottom of the cam. So uh, if I can just show that, here it is, so now it's happy days. I think the seller of this cable, um, you know, if you run your own business, you can't really have a cable going anywhere near a, uh, a fuel tank. I know that it's going to be okay, and in fact, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, extra cover, say some P flexible um, electrical PVC um, protective uh, pipe around that to be sure. I don't think that's going to move when the handbrake's applied. Um, for me, it's okay doing this work on my own truck, but you couldn't run a business and have a, a cable like that. I think that's I think that's why he uh, he sold that. Okay, well I think that's uh, a wrap. So there's a handbrake. There we go. And uh, can show that the uh, the drum is uh, able to move. So uh, I think I think we can call that a wrap. We also have brakes and uh, Okay, she's all good. Over and out. Please like and subscribe. Actually, I'm not very happy with that. It's it's actually the next day. It's the next morning. And you can hear that sort of uh, grinding on the, uh, the pads on the, uh, on the drum. I'm just going to back that off a little bit. It's a shame to have to uh, mess with it once it's finished, but I'm just going to back that off, say, three turns. And uh, reconnect that. Now, um, I'm going to put the drum back on. It's still a bit, well, I suppose that's, it might have to wear in a bit. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. Um, I adjusted it a few more times. Uh, just um, be careful, just make sure that this uh, adjusting bracket with the arm that goes into the, uh, to the adjusting nut there, um, just make sure... Uh, just before you put the spring on in or just hold it with one hand and put the spring in with the other just make sure that it's uh, in this slot here and positioned properly 
Um, so that's that's all good. Um, after adjusting the nut, um, go in and pump the brakes, and that will make the change. So if you don't if you don't pump the brakes, it'll be the same as it was before. So you know this is getting into the nitty gritty or the science uh, of um, drum brakes, but uh, we can see now that's. Uh, That's better. So if I go in and pump the brakes. So I've just put the brakes on and off and uh, it's all good. What I'm going to do now is put the, uh, the handbrake on and off and just look for any flex in this part of the pipe here. Okay, so that's it. Um, that should be a successful install. I this uh, this mount is done up. However, this one here is uh, that still needs to be done up for the cable, and uh, that one as well. Okay, so I'll do up the uh, the connectors I do have, which are these two here, and uh, put the wheel on, take it for a test drive. And uh, just adjust the uh, the handbrake cable, and uh, should be all good to go. Before I forget to mention it, uh, I am going to put some electrical conduit uh, for protection between the or on the cable for protection between the cable and the tank. So uh, I've still got to do that. Okay, here's the test. So I'll put on the brake. Take my foot off the uh, off the pedals, and we're good. And now, here we go. So it's all good, and the brakes are good. So that's a wrap. Please Thanks like and subscribe.